The deep sea is vast. It's a huge area covering more than half of our planet and it's relatively unexplored. However, we've learned that the biodiversity, uh, the ecosystems within the deep sea provide key services to humankind and to the health of the ocean. There are the market services with monetary value. We're drawing fish and shellfish from the deep sea. We're extracting oil and gas from the deep sea. And more recently, we've begun to take pharmaceutical agents um, and, and medicines and cures for diseases from the deep sea. Over the last 50 years, the human footprint in the deep sea has expanded greatly. This is what we are calling deep ocean industrialization. As we turn into deep water for food, we begin to trawl. We've basically denuded something like one-fifth of our continental slope, an area the size of Canada and the U.S. combined. We need to have a new global agreement that effectively crosses all of the environmental domains brings together the different in industry sectors and integrates knowledge across different kinds of disciplines, economics, policy, law, biology, conservation. We need to place emphasis on application of the precautionary approach with avoidance and minimization of impact. I think spatial planning and, and deep sea marine reserves have an important role to play here. We need to make sure that we continue to advance our knowledge and understanding of the deep sea and to provide funding sources for this. Many of the developing countries of the world uh, own the deep sea resources that are now being targeted and yet they have very little expertise uh, or, and very little technology to even take a look at them and, and their environments. So I think it's very important that we build capacity and share expertise to enable uh, holistic management of the deep sea in a way that maintains the integrity of those functions for future generations.